I'm Vanessa Canby and here I am within a gated community which has recently been completed close to Paraku Estates. These houses are going for 295,000 USD or they're renting for 2,500 USD. So I'm really excited to see this. There is eight houses within the development and five are left for sale. They said they've still to do the tiles on the floor here, but I like the feeling of like a smaller sort of gated community. That's where I live right now, where I rent, is in a similar sort of place. It's nice for kids to play outside. You've got your security, you know, you're sharing the generator costs when it goes on and you're sharing all of those costs of amenities. So we're going to check out this one here. It's fully furnished and all the furniture, including even like the TV is included when you buy the place. So let's check it out. I love the fact that they have planted greenery around the house here. And I think the finishings are great. This is the developer's first development and now they're onto their second one. Really, really like this door, a nice big wooden door. And you can see the furnishings are so nice. Even to the curtains, you know, like these sort of luxury curtains that have the top like that. I don't know what you call them, but um, you know, you rarely see those within houses, especially houses for sale. Um, and as I told you before, even the TV is included when you buy. And this is like a huge Samsung TV. But anyway, as you can see, we're in the living dining room with the stairs going upstairs. And if we go over here, we get to the guest toilet so if you have people over they can use this toilet or if you're downstairs you can also use this toilet really nice tiles throughout that they've chosen and artwork and everything like I don't know who did the interiors but they did a great job ACs in every room even an AC in the kitchen that's something I'm missing in my own place <laughs> What really stands out for me in here is these tiles. I actually love those. And then the island is really nice. They've got Bosch appliances. We've got the built-in microwave, oven. And then here we have a Samsung fridge with this touch screen. Like this is actually so cool. I want one of these. Oh, draw and leave memos. Maybe if I write Vanessa can be so if you buy this house then it's been touched by me I don't know if that's a turn off or a you know turn on to the house but um we've got the really nice built-in cupboards here and we've also got the Bosch washing machine as well so it really comes with everything you would need and then if we go through here this takes us through to the pantry so somebody's actually staying in here um, at the moment. So you might see a couple of their things. But um, yeah, so pantry, you can fit all your pots and pans. Maybe you could have some food stuff in here as well. And then we can go outside. To our garden space. Out here we have a drying rack so you can dry your clothes poly tank and then there is also an outdoor tap here that can be used for like a range of things you know you've got a little bit of green space the generator is actually here and um, for the whole development but obviously each house has a different amount of outside space this one has quite a lot of outside space and then this is the staff accommodation so I feel like you could use this as staff accommodation you could use it as you know, if you had a parent or something coming to stay. They could also be in here. And it's the same tiles and everything used in here as used in the main house. The same curtains. I mean, it's been finished to like the same standard really nicely. There's the wardrobes built in. And then there's also a toilet with shower here as well. And then there's a TV in here as well. Okay, so 
This would comfortably fit a double bed and you could have a desk and everything in here. Let's make our way out. All right, should we walk around the house so we get an idea of the outside space this way as well? So here we have the greenery. And we'll head back into the front door. So now let's head upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms, the three bedrooms upstairs. Again, we've got these really nice tiles going up the staircase. A nice bright area because we've got the windows up here. And we come to a second lounge area. Again, really nicely furnished with another TV and um, like unit here. And when you have the furniture in a place, it gives you like a great idea of what it would be like to live here. And again, because all this furniture is here, you would just need to come with your suitcases or your, your different things and you just move in. You wouldn't even need to go and buy furniture and that sort of thing. Here we are now in the master bedroom. We've got these built-in wardrobes all the way up this wall here, going quite deep in. And as you can see, the room is massive. I mean, Ghanaians love to make a big bedroom. And yeah, like this bedroom could definitely fit more than one bed. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> and there's like the TV area here. And this is a really nice bathroom. You've got a standalone bathtub, the shower area, again with nice tiles, um, and then this vanity with like floating sort of sink arrangement. And then here we have a coloured, oh wow, I can even change the colour. This is actually so cool. This is like almost like a smart house. Okay, that's nice. And then we'll go back through to the bedroom. And the bedroom actually has a balcony over here. Really nice doors. I actually have a thing for doors. I really like this. So when we come out here, we can see over the communal area over there, over to the other houses. Um, and you could just have like a couple of seats out here chill in the evenings, nice and breezy, look out over the rest of the area, love a balcony. As well as these built-in wardrobes, there is also a walk-in wardrobe area here. So again, we can fit so many clothes here. Um, all the clothes you might have would definitely fit here and it's all fitted. And now we'll head over to the next two bedrooms which are a bit smaller than this one, but still a good size. So this is the second bedroom. Again, we've got the built-in wardrobes here. Lots of space for everything, all the way up to the ceiling. Nice and bright with the big windows. They do have the security um, bars, but these ones aren't the ones that are fixed. So you can actually like open them up and open them all the way so that, you know, as you've heard me speak about before, the sort of fire hazard of the fixed ones, uh, this you can definitely open if you needed to. <laughs> um, and then here is the ensuite. And let's check out the third and final bedroom upstairs. Oh, there's a TV in this one as well. It's like TV galore. Oh my gosh, I was about to go the wrong one. Um, and now we're going through to the third bedroom. I actually think this bedroom is bigger than that bedroom, I think. Um, and here we are in the third bedroom. Again, a nice big window can comfortably fit a king size bed. And here is the ensuite. So there you have it, the semi-detached three bedroom plus staff accommodation, making it a four bedroom 
for 295,000 US dollars near to Paraku Estates. And you get this big communal space here. You get space to park your car. You could probably definitely fit two cars outside your house. If you are interested, please do email us at hello at vanessacandy.com and I will put you in touch with the necessary people and you can find out more information. They're also for rent for $2,500 per month. And just look at that sun. I know you want to be here soaking in the sun outside your brand new house. See you later. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you're notified every time I make an upload and I'll bring you more houses. So you definitely want to do that. See you later. Bye.